Not quite so easy without the trees, but I will talk about that in a little while. There we are. Nailand traffic go for the Yankee Echo Hotel is rolling, Nailand traffic. My name is Tim Palmer, I fly a Jodel DR1050 out of this farm strip in East Anglia. Nice rate of climb. Uh, it is 25 to 6 on Monday, the 3rd of October. Um, I wasn't necessarily going to fly today. Um, forecast over the weekend was that it was supposed to be um, quite good on the Saturday, uh, really, really poor on the Sunday. So I made the plans accordingly, and I flew, well I didn't fly, I came over to fly on the Saturday, but it was, <coughs> excuse me, it was blowing an absolute hoolie, um, and yeah, I just didn't really feel like it, and the Sunday where it was supposed to be wall to wall rain, actually turned out to be really quite nice, which is fairly typical. So I thought on that basis, the next couple of days, we are supposed to have uh, some stronger winds. So I thought, well, I'm going to give myself a treat and come over now and have just a little bit of time in the air. I had hoped with that update last time that I would get more flying in, but it just didn't happen. I really am very, very appreciative of all of the comments about people telling me that I need to give myself a break, etc., etc. But it was rather, it was really weird, it was peculiar. Not doing the edit, um, I didn't have the time to do the edit, but, you know, often on, a, on an evening, I'll sit and edit away. The last time I did this, I said I was going to be using the underwing camera, and then for some reason it didn't work. So what I'm doing now is I've got the underwing camera again um, in a sort of pointing straight down way. So let's see what happens with that. It's a little bit murky, but there again, maybe it's because I've got these glasses on. Um, which I will now put on the back seat. I'm afraid I use the back seat of this very much like the back seat of my car and just sort of dump things into it. I did mention the, uh, the, the trees and I will put a clip in now. Uh, when Duncan and I flew, I, we did comment on the fact that the trees were looking that much bigger. Unfortunately, uh, and I'm not sure that I'm going to put this bit into the video because I need to have John's permission. But unfortunately, John had a, a landing accident in the RV, um, and you'll see from the photographs, it wasn't major, major, but came over the top of the hill with a, a, a strong tailwind that suddenly became a gusting uh, wind from the east, from the right-hand side, which spun him round. Um, and the result was he clobbered the right-hand leading edge onto a into a tree, which spun him round. Um, 
it tore off the tail wheel, um, twisted the fuselage, and because it tipped up like that, then it actually took the trailing edge of that wing. We had the assessor out, um, who has basically ridden it off. I mean, by the time you get to see this, it's probably all going to be history. Uh, but the assessor has ridden it off on the basis that the RV4, it seems, is uh, bespoke in as much as all of the panels were handmade, hand-formed, etc. And had it been one of the later models, I'm uh, just going to give a little bit of carb heat. Had it been the later models, then it would have just been taking a preformed panel, pre-drilled, and actually replacing it. Um, but, yeah, so that has been written off. So he is starting a search for something else, which is very, very sad, because, yeah, John, as you've probably seen, well, you may not have seen, but I, at one stage, did a video when we were taking a tailwheel 150 back to Clacton. Um, and I think it was 206 different types in his logbook. Um, but certainly that last RV4 is the one that he has had for the longest. I think it's about eight or nine years, which for him is actually a very long time. I don't need to be chuntling along here at that sort of engine RPM. So I'll give everything a rest. It's going to be one of, I thought it was going to be a, a quite a nice evening, but I think we're going to have one of those sort of milky, misty sort of nights. But as you can see, very, very still. Well, it would be if I had it trimmed properly. Let's try that again. Only very slight movements needed, but yeah, really nice. Having a look on that wing, I am very, very disappointed. I should have given you a good old clean, shouldn't I? Been rather preoccupied with other bits and pieces. Got some heavy stuff high above me, but nothing else. I think everybody else has gone home for their tea. Uh, nice to see Great Oakley a little bit greener than the last time when it came over. I was going to film it, I probably filmed it, I will have filmed it by the time you see this video, but uh, Duncan, Chris and Rob have managed to get the D18 back in the air, so that's now permitted. And I say that because they were doing a test flight over here. Um, and I think the plugs got a little bit rich. Um, and as a result of that, they uh, they dropped in there. Um, as always, very, very pleased with the support they got from everybody down on the ground. Yeah. So I could call for help, you mean? <laughs> well, that might, that vote of confidence, yeah. really. But you have flown it since permit, haven't you? It's, it's, it's had some <laughs> flight time, yeah. Because the thing is, um, there is a tradition that I don't film first flights. No. So this no, isn't a. This is about, this is flight number six. Okay. It's a lots of little, small local flights. All right. So I do have permission to film then. Yes, you can film me without <laughs> cursing it, don't worry. Yeah. And it's a good job we're, you're wearing the cap.
So were you happy with that? All right, Tim. Were you happy with that? Yes. Okay. Seems to be going very well. It sounded good. I was pleased with that. Yeah. I'm going to take the plugs out now, just have a look at the colour, just a double check. Okay. Yeah. It all appears to be well. Good. Excellent. Real. Line up on the trees. Shush. No, 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 those trees. Yeah, it went down further than I thought. Yep. Although I did notice the other two did go down. I didn't, I didn't see about Chris. Can you see him anywhere? No, I can't. He normally buggers off that way. Um, being very small like that, it's difficult to find anyway. Yeah. He's coming round on our tail. Is he? Yeah, got him. I think he's going outside you, as opposed to inside you. Okay. Just keep me posted. Yeah, I can't quite catch him, to be truthful with you. I think it might be slightly lower than you. Can't quite reach him out the back. There he is, it's sorry. On your left uh, left elbow. Okay. Clo closing in or a uh, little uh, yeah, it's coming in towards this bit. Hello, why, why, why. Well if you hold the plane for a moment, yep. you got it? Yep. Okay. Right? Yeah. You got it. All right. Oh, I yeah. have it. Yeah. Yes. It's fake. Yeah. <laughs> uh, main hall farm golf tulip bravo Victor Puppers and bound uh, five miles east of the airfield. Uh, straight in the approach on my two seven main hall farm. I'm never bloody certain, you know, where your house is. I, I, I can never really see it from the sky, if I'm honest. What? Dad's house? Yeah. Yeah. Right, coming underneath us now, really. Yeah. But, um, Big I, square red one. By the road. Ah, I'm perhaps not... I was thinking it was this white one down here. No, no, big, big square red one. What side of the road? Uh, right hand side of the road. Oh. Oh, see, that's where I get muddled. But it won't be there for long. Well, it won't be ours for long, will it, now? No, I suppose not. Hey, blimey. That, where did that one come from? I don't know, but it wasn't me. Uh, that was that bloke in that one up yeah. there. Look, <laughs> had a shit. Yeah. And then mine is down here. Where that white car is, where that white car is yeah. now. Is that, what well, that's, that's, that, that's the triangle. Hand. Yeah, yeah. Right, okay. And that's the, that's the playing field. All right, yeah. and then, that's the church where dad was church warden. Right. And uh, where we're gonna bury his ashes tomorrow. Oh, well I hope that goes well for you. Yeah. All right, so where that white house is, by the road, yeah. if you look to the right of it, there's a very square red brick house. I think so, yeah. Very, very square. Yeah. That is Dad's house. Oh, right. So it's right on that road. And then that's the mill down there. Yeah. And of course, this is the creek. Wow.
So we've got to go back down there this afternoon and clear the garage out. The house is now, apart from one room, it's empty. But I've got to work on the garage. Okay. Are you having leg trouble today? No, it's not that. It's just that I've got that um, wrapped up a bit. All right. When we were... I've moved it now. I know it's a nice day and we should be going somewhere, but fine. I really am fine. short of time. That's fine. Absolutely fine. I'm so grateful for your, everything that you've done. I, I probably wouldn't have, you know, managed to do it myself, to be honest. Well, we have managed to get a few jobs done, haven't we? Yeah, it's just that... Um, Traffic, uh, I, think, India. I think Duncan had already gone because he went said he had to go back to work this afternoon. All right. Nailand traffic, go well for Yankee Echo Hotel is in the overhead Nailand traffic. That's a bloody great run by, isn't it? On that it line. is, yeah. I don't think it was this bumpy when we took off. Uh, I suppose it's got a little bit hotter. Possible. Oh, and there's more water in these reservoirs, which is good. Glider just taking off now. Yeah, they go up like a rocket, don't they? 45 degrees. Beginning to get those very nice autumn colours on the trees. Yeah. Nice red ones. Uh. Air brake coming down. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm all right. I think yeah, I, need, I need, need the power to get up the hill no. today. <laughs> Bang on, I think. Okay, yeah. nice and steady because there's some whacking great rabbit holes that I need to do here. Yeah. Okay then, take care, bye.